Hello everybody and welcome back. There are very many theories as to what the British Bigfoot is, along with the American Bigfoot and the Russian Bigfoot and all the other Bigfoot creatures across the world. Um, ranging from, I would say, zoo farm all the way through ape, relic hominid, human, um, sentient being. There are very, very many differing theories. But if we are going with the theory for this, for now, that this is a living, breathing animal, or this is a human or a hominid of some kind, then surely we should be getting more than a sighting. We should be getting footprint finds and shelter structures and um, howls and growls and whoops and wood knocking and all the normal audio noises that would go along with um, said creature. So this account comes from Halewood and it's not too far from me. It was in 1983 and it happened to a gentleman who was a child at the time. And the account came in through Beasts of Britain. So thanks to Andy McGrath for that. Um, and you can find Beasts of Britain on Facebook and it's also a blog that's out there. And Andy deals with all the other cryptids that come in. I do the upright two-legged hominids. But Andy does all of the other cryptids in the UK. So if you have an interest in that, I would uh, definitely look for Andy's site. Uh, and this is what the gentleman had to say. He says, hi there, happy new year. And I'm not sure what this was, but there's a possible encounter, I think, that happened to myself and some friends when we were children. At the time this happened, I was around 11 years old. And it was would have been about 1983-84. I lived in Liverpool in the UK, and I grew up in a place called Halewood. And there's a fairly large woodland that is intersected by a disused railway. As far back as I can recall, the railway has been out of use and we played there a lot as kids. Now, the woods were a creepy place, but lots of us would normally, you know, frequent just doing a regular thing that kids do, climbing trees or riding a bike, uh, making a racket most of the day. In some parts of the woods, the trees grew closely together and were very thick, making it hard to manoeuvre through them or even enter into them in some places. We were looking for flint shards to make spears. Uh, yeah, Stig of the Dump was on TV at the time, and it was a popular series for children, if nobody knows what Stig of the Dump is. Um, it was a book that was made into a television series, and it's about a young boy on a summer holiday who finds himself in an old quarry used as a dump, and his adventures with the Stone Age boy begin. Um, when I was first looking for information on the British wild man, I went to the very large um, library in Manchester and asked the lady there, if, what could she tell me about cavemen or um, ape type creatures in the UK? And she actually handed me Stig of the Bump, Dump. So it's uh, quite a memory for me. You know? But we get back to the sighting. The railway was a place that had lots of flint and we ended up in what I believe to be a clearing amongst giant hogweed. It was very odd though. We didn't get the normal burns that you get from the sap. We were looking on the ground for suitable shards or stone that we could nap easily and just concentrating hard. And as we were talking, we suddenly heard an awful growl, deep, roughened, human-like growl. It didn't matter where we looked, we were completely surrounded by the dense vegetation and we couldn't make anything or anyone out. It could have been a person, I guess. I don't think it was, though. And it did stand out, it was really weird. But it was a strange sound. We ran as fast as we could, and we felt at the time like we were running for our lives. I think I just broke through the greenery and down the hill in the open field and just kept on running. So who knows? Something of interest to note. Well, there is something of interest. Uh, this is what a short walk from the Wirral, I always get this wrong, Wirral Werewolf Girl account from 2002. And the mini cannibals that are often spoken about in the St. Helens area. There is an urban myth down there about these urban cannibals. And I've, yeah, I've not been able to pin anything concrete on that story, I'm afraid. So if you know the myth or if you've heard it before and it's not a myth, um, get in touch with me and let me know. But um, quite a few of us in the north have heard it before. And, I'm, you know, I'm unsure it might be a shaggy dog story. I more than likely is. But there is this myth that there is a place in on the Wirral somewhere where there is, you know, mini cannibals were found. Um, but I'm unsure. I wonder if it's to do with the Cheddar Gorge. 
account because there were some bones found at Cheddar Garden. It proved that early Brits actually ate their relatives, which is not much of a shock, really, and probably something some of us would probably practice today if we were allowed to get away with it. But that's a whole other show. So until next time, thank you very much. Good night.